About two years ago, I made the spontaneous decision to leave New York City and travel and live here across the entire world to Bangkok, Thailand. I'm gonna show you behind the scenes on how much I personally spend here living a very comfortable lifestyle. The result of this video may surprise you, so stick around through this entire video. Just in context, I am not a frugal conservative spender, nor am I an extremely luxurious spender that's going popping bottles every single night. I'm somewhere like right in the middle. I would really appreciate it if you take a second to like this video and subscribe. It really helps my small channel out. Let's start off with the first topic, which is housing. All right guys, welcome to the condo. I'm just going to do a quick little tour. We have our restroom, then we have our first bedroom. Now let's step outside. We have the second bedroom. Popo's potty section. Kitchenette right here is very compact. Has all the essentials. And now we have our living room space. And that's pretty much it. So that was the condo tour. This fully furnished pet friendly condo is 18,500 baht. And for utilities, I pay an extra 3,000 baht, which brings out the housing total to 21,500 baht. Just a side note, if you're only visiting Bangkok for like a month or less, the average condo is 20,000 baht a month. You're probably gonna have to spend 40 to 50,000 baht a month just for the same condo. That's generally the kind of markup for places like Airbnb or short-term rentals. But you can find some good deals on like Facebook Marketplace. Also, if you're visiting Bangkok, I would definitely recommend living on Sukhumvit. But if you don't want to live on that Sukhumvit road, you can live kind of on the outskirts and save hundred dollars off of rent. So it depends on what your budget is. Now we got to talk about the other essential cost of living. My phone bill is only 300 baht a month. And for my visa, I have an educational visa, which allows me to stay in Thailand for 15 months. I pay 30,000 baht to attend Thai classes and I pay an extra 38,000 baht to a visa agent that pretty much does all the paperwork. So in total, I pay 68,000 baht for 15 months, comes out to roughly 4,500 baht every single month. Next, are my health and fitness costs. I have a gym membership here that costs me 1200 baht every single month. I take a bunch of different supplements for my health and my fitness. All of those supplements cost me 3,350 baht every single month. All of those essential living costs come out to 9,800 baht every single month or $269. Next up, we got to talk about everybody's favorite subject, which is food. Thailand is famous for its flavorful, cheap, just delicious and spicy street food. You can theoretically go every single day spending less than $10, but it's not that practical, nor is it the healthiest option. So Realistically, you're not going to be eating street food for every single meal here in Thailand. Street food like noodles, rice, and meat, or a set of skewers is going to cost you about 100 baht on average or about $3. But if you want to go into a sit down restaurant, the same food is going to cost you about $10 or about 300 baht. Now let's talk about groceries. So this is everything we got, 1,500 baht. On average, I go grocery shopping three times a month, spending about 1,500 baht per trip, which brings my monthly total for grocery shopping to 4,500 baht. My breakfast is free because I pretty much either skip it or I cook it at home with the groceries I already paid for. On average, I eat lunch about 15 days outside, spending about 300 baht per meal. That's gonna equal 4,500 baht per month. For dinner, I typically go outside and eat probably about 20 days of the month, spending on average 700 baht which includes me and my girl's meal, and that's gonna equal about 14,000 baht every single month. Now, if we add up all those totals for grocery, for eating out, for eating inside, the total is gonna come out to 23,000 baht every single month, or $660. Now, that was food, now let's move on to transportation. The main modes of transportation are taxi cars, taxi motorbikes, tuk-tuks, metro station, public buses, and of course, walking. Transportation here is very, very cheap. You can get a 20-minute Uber ride, which would cost like $50 in California. That same ride in Thailand would only cost you about $5. So let's say your destination is five kilometers away. If you were to take the train or a motorbike, it would cost you about a dollar. If you were to take a taxi car, it would cost you about four dollars. And the most expensive option would be if you were to take a tuk-tuk, which would cost about maybe ten dollars. The number one most convenient mode of transportation here is, of course, the motorbike. It's the quickest and it is the cheapest. So all in all, for a month, I typically book about 10 taxi cars, 20 taxi motorbikes, and about a dozen trips with the metro station. Adding all that together, in an average month, I spend about 2,900 baht just on transportation. Now let's talk about leisure. Leisure for me includes my social life and then also occasionally shopping. Let's start off with the social life aspect. Now Bangkok is fun. You can easily get lost in the sauce here because there's just a lot of things to do. You can find yourself spending enormous amount of money on partying, on the clubbing, getting tables, popping bottles, getting girls. That can easily be your biggest expense and you can find yourself going broke if you're not careful. For me, on a chill weekend, I might get some Korean barbecue and some dessert with my friends. Maybe spend about a thousand baht that day, so that's about $30. If it's a party night, I might grab a cigar, spend about a thousand baht on that, then go to the club, then go to a couple parties, spend maybe a thousand to two thousand baht more on drinks or maybe a table. So the cost really depends 
depend on how crazy and how hard I'm going that night. On a given month, I spend about 10,500 baht just on my social life. Now, this is more on the conservative side because I don't typically go out that much. On average, I go out and socialize maybe about one to two times a week, so nothing crazy. But when I first came to Thailand, I was going out very, very regularly, like every other day. So this was definitely my biggest expense. But nowadays, I'm, I'm more chill. Next up is shopping. This is going to include the impulsive purchase. Maybe I might find a 300 baht shirt that I like. Just some random shopping. I don't shop too much. I probably spent about 2,000 baht in this category. So that brings the total cost of socializing and shopping to 12,500 baht or $360 a month. So that pretty much covers all the different categories of what it's like to live here in Bangkok, Thailand. Now let's summarize every single category and add up all the totals. For housing, which includes rent and utilities, I spend about 21,500 baht. For my living expenses, such as my health, my gym, and my visa, I spend 9,380 baht. For transportation, I spend 2,900 baht. For food, which includes groceries and eating out, that total is 23,000 baht. That's my biggest expense. And then for leisure, which includes socializing and shopping, that total is 12,500 baht. Adding up all those totals, this is how much it costs to live here in Bangkok, Thailand. The total for me is 69,290 baht or $1,990 every single month. I don't know if these results surprised you or if you kind of expected this, but for me, I think this is a very modest amount considering I spent like two to three times more in New York and I have a much better lifestyle here. Like unlike in America, you, you kind of have these like budgeting kind of like calculations and stuff, but here in Thailand, I'm, I'm just doing whatever I want. I, I don't, I never think about money here. Let me know in the comments if you think you would spend more than me or less than me. I hope this video was useful for you guys. Let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to this channel and follow me on Instagram at I'm Paulie. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.